So I decided I'm going to freestyle on y'all today. And I'm going to show you some things that I know freak people out about tarot. First of all, we watch too many movies where they done freaked us out about tarot. This is what they do. Ooh, the death card. Now, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all see that on the TV and you go, oh, Lord, somebody finna die. Okay? Now, look a little closer. What's on this snake? The snake has the astrology symbols on it. Aries, Cancer. You see them? There's the Libra towards the tail there. Taurus. Y'all see what I'm saying? Death is transformation. It don't always mean physical death. Matter of fact, a lot of readers shouldn't even be trying to predict deaths and that kind of shit anyway. So this is what I'm talking about here. It's cardboard. Not trying to be disrespectful to the readers, but I'm tired of people assuming tarot is some evil thing. This is just like people who run from religion because they think in the Bible. Y'all have messed around and, and got freaked out by tarot. Look at this. This is an absolutely lovely card. The Empress. It's all about growth. You see, you, you got to look at the symbolism. Look at that. Corn. You got the acorns. You see the greenery. You can obviously tell this would be a positive card. She's holding a baby. Yeah, this can be a pregnancy card. This can also be a motherly card. This is also, bam, a card I come up as a lot because she's a businesswoman. She's growing her garden. For all y'all nosy people been trying to figure out what I'm doing, here you go. This is what I'm doing. I'm being the empress. I'm growing my garden. Okay? So now, I just want to give y'all a little spin on tarot. Thank you.